Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on sketching a quadratic graph including its intercepts and turning point. Now this is bringing everything together that we've learned in the previous videos, we're finding the x-intercepts, we're finding the y-intercepts and we're going to find the turning point as well. Now this first graph here, when you have y equals x squared, I would just memorise this particular one. It looks like this. So it's a u-shape that just goes through the origin, the point zero, zero. And the reason we know it goes through zero, zero is because if x was equal to zero, then the y value would be zero squared, which is zero. So when x is zero, y is zero. So it looks like that. Now for these other two, we're going to find the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and the turning point, those three things. So let's do b, y equals x squared minus 4x. Let's first find the y-intercept. Now, in a previous video, we saw that to find the y-intercept, you let x be equal to zero. And similarly, if you're trying to find the x-intercepts, you make y equal to zero, so it's all kind of like the opposite. So, if x is equal to zero, you just substitute x to zero into here. The y value will be equal to zero squared minus four times zero, and that is just equal to zero. So when x is zero, y is zero. It goes through the origin. And then to find the x-intercept, so the second thing we want for this graph, we're going to make y be equal to zero. We saw that in a previous video. So if we make y zero, we get y zero equals x squared minus 4x. And remember, we just have to solve this quadratic. Now look here, we've got a common factor of x here, so we can just factorise that out. So x brackets x minus 4. And then remember, to solve a quadratic equation like this, once you've factorised it, you make each of those things equal to zero. Because if the product of two things is equal to zero, then one of these has to be zero. So either the x is equal to zero, or if the x minus four was equal to zero, then x would be four, wouldn't it? Now the final thing we want to work out is the turning point. So this is the third thing. And remember, to find the turning point, we had to complete the square here. So if y is equal to x squared minus four x, I'm going to do this quickly. Um, if you've forgotten how to complete the square, then please view my video on this first. But do you remember, you open a bracket, you do x, and then you halve that number in front of the x, the coefficient of x. So half of minus 4 is minus 2. And then we take that number, the minus 2, we square it, which is positive 4, and then we throw it away. So we subtract that number. It's always going to be minus after you're squared. And the reason that works is because if you were to expand this out, you'd get x squared minus 4x plus 4, minus 4, and the plus 4 and the minus 4 cancel each other out. Then the last step here is from that to get the turning point. So remember, I'm not going to explain why again, but you negate that number just after the x, so the minus 2 becomes positive 2 as the x value of the turning point, and then you just use that number unnegated, so in its original form, as the y value, so minus 4. So if we put that all together, we've got, well, when x is 0, y is 0, so when x is 0, y is 0. We also have got, well, when x is 0, y is 0, that's the same point. But when x is 4, y will also be 0. So we've got 4, 0. So let's put the 4 here. And we've also worked out the turning point, 2 minus 4. So 2 minus 4 will be about here. And remember, quadratic graphs always either have a u-shape or a kind of upside down hill shape. And the way we can tell between these is if we have a positive x squared term or a negative x squared term. So if you have a positive x squared term, it will be this u shape. If it's a negative x squared term, it could be like minus 2x squared, minus 3x squared. It's going to be upside down u shape, so it's going to hill shape. Now this is a positive x squared term, so it's going to be this shape here, the u shape. And you can see that's going to be the case anyway, because if it's kind of a u or an upside down u, the only way to go through these three points like this is if it's a sort of normal u shape like that. So there we go. We've worked out this point, 0, 0. We've worked out, we've worked out this point, 4, 0. Have we worked out this point, the turning point, 2 minus 4? Let's do that for the second example. So we've got y equals x squared plus 8x plus 12. Again, we're going to work out the y-intercept, the x-intercept, and the turning point. So let's work out the y-intercept first. Again, we make x equal to 0. And, well, 0 squared plus 8 times 0, that's still 0 plus 12. Remember that we can just ignore all the x terms 
uh, and just use the non-x term to get the y-intercept. So it's going to be 12. So you can just write that straight off if you want. So the y-intercept is going to be 12. Next, we find the x-intercepts. And to do that, we make y be equal to 0. So we substitute y0 into this. So 0 equal to x squared plus 8x plus 12. And then we just factorise this quadratic. So I'm going to do this quickly. That's just going to be x plus 6, x plus 2. And then that means that either x is minus 6 or x is minus 2. And then finally, and I'm running out of space here, apologies, we've got to find the turning point. And we do that by completing the square. So if y is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 12, we complete the square. So remember, we do x plus, open a bracket, x plus half the coefficient of x, the number from the x, which is 4 squared. Then we take that number, the 4, square it, which is 16, and throw it away. So minus 16. We still got that plus 12 at the end, so let's put that back. And then we just simplify that a bit. So x was 4 squared. Minus 16 plus 12 is minus 4. And that means the turning point is going to be, we negate that number, so minus 4, and we just use this number in its original form, so minus 4. Now, I've run out of space, but if we just do it up here, if we plot all these points that we have, we've got um, when x is 0, y is 12. So let's put the 0, 12 there. That's the y-intercept. Um, the x-intercepts are minus 6 and minus 2. So let's put those here. Minus 6 and minus 2. And again, because it's a positive x-squared term, it's going to be a u-shape. So it's going to look like this. Sorry, it didn't quite go through. And then this point here, I'm just going to have to have an arrow to this because you can't see it. That turning point there was minus 4, minus 4. And that is the final answer.